In Excel, it is possible to rank a piece of information in a list so you can see where it sits. However, you may want Excel to also sort your list into the appropriate order. I'm not a big fan of using macros if it can be done at all automatically. And in this segment, you will learn how to find and activate the relevant functions being rank and VLOOKUP and how to combine these functions to automatically sort lists in Excel. In this example, we have a list of salespeople. Their units sold the average sales price and therefore what their total sales were. What we'd like to do is to first rank how they've done in terms of total sales, but then we'd like Excel as well to give us the final rankings in the correct order, pulling through all the correct information that needs to come through. To do this, you would do the following. The first thing we need to do is to rank the list of salespeople and we need to put this in front of the list and the reason for this will become clear when we go into the VLOOKUP section. If you're unfamiliar with the rank feature there is information available on our website. So what you do is you go to the function wizard you find the rank feature, you fill in the criteria so the number is here reference is what we want to compare to. You make it an absolute reference and the order is descending so we want to put a zero in there. Say so okay. Copy it down and now you've got the ranking showing who is first, who is last. You now want Excel to pull through this information, sort it automatically and pull through the relevant cells. In order to do this in the first column, you'll put the order that you want the ranks to come through in. So we want one, two, three, etc. Then in a cell like this, you'll make use of the VLOOKUP function. If you're unfamiliar with the VLOOKUP function, there's training available on the website. We'll find the VLOOKUP function. The lookup value will be this number. And because you know you're going to be copying this across, you need to anchor it and in this case you want to anchor it in such a way that it always refers to column A. So we want it to be $A13. The table array is the table you want it to look at and this is the reason why you needed the ranking in the first column because the first column needs to be the lookup value. Highlight it, anchor it. The column you want it to look through at the moment you want the salesperson's name to come through which is column 2. Type it in. The range lookup is false. You want an exact match. You click OK. Now what you can do is you can copy it across. You'll see it's still pulling through column 2. You just need to go in and say pull through column 3. You can do that with all of these. So this you want to be column 4. five. You can highlight the whole lot, copy it down, and there you have your rankings put through in the correct order with all the relevant information. What this means now is you have a listing that automatically sorts itself. So for example at the moment Antoinette is at the top with a hundred units, but let's say it was a finger typing error and it should have only been ten units. When you type in 10 and you push enter, watch down here, you'll see it's automatically sorted so that Jane is now number one and Antoinette has been put right to the bottom. And so depending on what happens here, your listing will always be in the correct order. There are some risks with using this technique. One of the main problems is the way Excel handles situations where the, the ranking is exactly the same. So for example, you'll see Mary has sold 67 units and Carrie has sold 67 units. If we made their pricing the same, you'll see there's a problem down here. The reason for this is the ranking feature has said, well, this is fourth and this is also fourth and the fifth position has disappeared. So in our listing here, it pulls through the first four ranking it finds and because it cannot find a, a ranking with five, it pulls through a, a not applicable error. 
And although this is a problem, there are ways to address this, and that is subject of uh, separate training. But at least when you use the false criteria in the VLOOKUP, if it cannot find a solution, it brings through an error message, which you can clearly see, you can then address. Another potential risk with this technique is that VLOOKUP makes use of a lot of memory in a spreadsheet. And so if you perform this technique on a very large list, you'll find that your spreadsheet will increase in size exponentially. 